manifesto. Uh, and you know, there's different types of manifestos. Marx had a communist manifesto. Uh, the Unabomber had his manifesto. This is neither of those. Um, this is my manifesto. Uh, and this is called Why I Write Number 137. Y'all down with one more poem? Yeah, y'all still with me? Okay, y'all with me? Couple thumbs up, couple... All right. The first poem I ever wrote was for my father on his birthday the year after he moved out. I didn't have money for a present, no bar mitzvah cash yet, so I wrote him a ten-line stanza filled with more cliches than correctly spelled words. When I go to visit 12 years later, he still has it on his desk. I write for my fam. I write because my grandma lived in the days of McCarthy. She went to jail for her words. I write because I see headlines every day that don't make the news. My neighbor, gray-haired grandma from Cambodia collecting tin cans to pay for her kids' Nikes made in the land she just left. My boy, Jamie making the most beautiful music with two turntables and a purple kazoo. My country, electing Ke Kenya president but still treating him like Kansas. My president still won't give us universal health care. Malignant politicians, we the body, they the cancer. They the cancer? The tenth poem I ever wrote was a battle rap to Bill Clinton, delivered at the White House gates, at the protests against the World Bank. High school battle rhymes against sweatshops and NAFTA. Now 10 years after, look what Slick Willie's been doing lately. I guess he didn't catch my first verse. You see what he's proposing for Haiti? Without call, there's no response. But if no response, then why call at all? So I write, I write to move the crowd to master the craft, to motivate and congregate. I write because I want to be an MC, but I can't rap worse shit. So instead I freestyle, slowly, on paper. It's called writing. I write because the open mic is the most radically democratic space I know. Free speech for free. Every voice embraced from Lil Young Feezy to Harry Potter's little sister speaking middle school and magic. I write because I'm both those voices. Schizophrenia, the artist's blessing and curse. I write because forget a poetry slam, but it brings in the crowd. So let's keep doing it and flipping it till the only competition left is who's trilingual beatboxing haiku rocks the Coliseum the hardest. I write because Langston, because Whitman, because Pac, because Lauren. I write because Malcolm, because Juno, because Colville, because Pinheiro. I write because Chinaka, because Baraka, because Lenny Bruce, because Sherman Alexi, because of Dorothy Ray Healy. And today, today I write because of y'all. Because forget the fourth wall. No more stage. We all got stories. Tear down all walls, all bricks around Mexico, around Palestine, around the suburbs. I write because fuck Twitter. <laughs> Yeah, I said it. <laughs> Forget Facebook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and who even remembers MySpace? <laughs> but yet, I have all three. <laughs> because everyone wants to be famous, but no one knows why. Because everyone loves to talk, but who's saying shit? I write because I love you, and I don't know how else to say it. Because you probably think I'm talking about my girl, which I am, but I'm also talking about you, weird punk rock kid in the third row, and you, old bearded teacher man in the back, and everyone else, there's no one up there in particular. Oh. The teacher people are, and you, old bearded teacher dude on the side. <laughs> or waterbed, I write because yes, I love you. Not like how I love Esther, but like how grandma loved her comrades and how King loved his enemies. And yes, you might be my enemy, old bearded teacher man in the back, not you because you're my dude, but I believe my love, I believe my love can help you love your students more. The 137th poem I ever wrote 
I finished today on this paper and I'm sharing with you and I write because I can say all this here, but if I stop talking so fast and just said all this to you randomly on the streets of Santa Rosa, you'd probably call the cops. <laughs> and who likes cops? Or bosses? Or haters? I like lovers and lyricists who aren't lazy and dancers who can really dance and dancers who can't and community organizers building new communities and good politicians, all three of them and good teachers, all of us and y'all, I love y'all and I'm not even a hippie but I am a writer. Thank you very much.